Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored and welcome to tonight's stellar pack. Talk TV's Esther Cracker and Adrian. Hello. Good evening. Miss me? Of course. Oh. Look at those faces. <laughs> ever, ever faces smiled saying yes but meant no. Those are the faces. <laughs> um, I want to show a clip. This is President Biden, the mm. most powerful man in the world, the leader of the free world. You know he always does weird stuff these days, right? No. Look what he does to this baby who he's never met. Have a look at this. Now, this was taken in Helsinki when he left the, uh, the summit last week before he boarded Air Force One. But it's so weird, Esther. Now, what I think the what thing man is... would do that to a baby he's never met? Yeah, I'm not... So I'm not usually... I usually give old people a pass because, I, you know, they're older and you have to respect your he's, elders. He's nibbling but a, a strange baby. There is a bigger issue at hand here, which is he just keeps making more and more gas. Everyone yeah. can see that he is becoming a bit senile. Yeah. And, you know, the Democrats really need to take this conversation seriously. I because agree. this man cannot run for... I don't even... I'm sorry, I don't think he'll be able to make it to the next general election. Mm. I mean, to the extent that he can still maintain his mental faculties to even do that. I, I mean, really... all these have images done... we're showing him Honestly, falling... And, this and is and happening I, I every week. I feel bad. <clears throat> it's, Paula, it's defend, yeah. defend the man. I mean... This isn't about defending him. This is about... Well, it is. Queer, no, this is about querying why it's appropriate to criticise someone for being kind to a small human. Because that's, 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 that's what okay, all he okay. was doing. He was being kind. He, kind. He, let's, have look, kind let's have a look at these Hannibal Lecter impression oh, again, please. then. Come on. <laughs> let's have another look at please. it. Please. I don't think kind is the word I'd use. He's literally nibbling a baby look, who looks I don't even shocked have, and traumatized. Look at the baby. I don't have a problem trying, with that. Oh, look at her. She's just terrified. I don't have a problem with that, but clearly the man is losing the ability to take on social cues. Well, that's the bigger issue. He's being playful. No. That's and, fine. And we can see he's being playful because That's fine. we've all been there where a yes. small child has no, I've never, I've never nibbled um, us. a strange baby. <laughs> we can I never see have. the adults around. So Paula, Paula, also finding it Paula, very funny. We haven't you all been there. You want to focus we on bringing the man down. I've never this nibbled is desperate, a strange Piers. baby. It's desperate. Well, it's not, it would be if it was in isolation. But if you take it in the context of him repeatedly falling over, yes. tripping on Air Force One, falling off bikes, all the verbal gas, which have been relentless. Even around. saying God save the Queen the other day, randomly, nine months after he attended her funeral. It's a, it's a procession now of verbal and physical gas. It, it's true. What we have is the press reporting a procession. We're a seeing procession. them! I, I agree with you. What do you mean and I, and I wonder, them? I wonder why we have this focus. Is it because of his age? Is it because yes. we, we think that you you just cannot stand... Well, are you joking? ...as a... As a you cannot be taken no, no, seriously. It's not, it's not about his age. It's not about his age. Well, if it's not about his age, what is it? Because I know oh. people like Joan Collins who because are 10 years not... older and have and, and are half, they seem half their age. The problem is not his age, it's his condition. Well, he looks to me to be at a fairly advanced stage now of senility, and he's the man with his finger on the trigger. Uh, OK, can, can we just... Uh, and, okay. and, and, and where Paula, do we get that information Paula, from that he looks... If, from my that's, eyes that's and ears. Not, it, that's your own personal view. We're not being told No, 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 it's a view shared by, by most people. The, by the medics that surround him. Do you feel him? comfortable that if he wins the next election, he'd be there for another four years, which is six years from now? If that's who the voters vote in, no, no, of you, do course you feel, I'd be comfortable Do you feel comfortable with the President of the United because States to be in that condition? I believe in democracy, and that's what happens, Piers, when you're even if, he's, in. even if he's totally gaga. But, look, Piers, who is saying he's totally gaga? My you, because, eyes and ears. Because you don't I agree think you're with lying him. To yourself. Or, I, well, I, I don't believe... So, so I don't I, I do believe... And by the way, who was a Republican, heard, she'd be saying he's totally gaga. Have you heard a medic say that he's, he's senile? My dear, have we heard this that? man... All right, we've got to move on. We're going to talk about... Let's move on to another age story. So there was a fantastic game at Wimbledon yesterday. Yes. Alcaraz taking down uh, Djokovic, or as somebody put it, I think it was the Times today, the kid beats the goat, which I thought was great. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a fantastic game, obviously. But there was another talking point, which was this guy. Let's have a look. Brad Pitt. Oh, yes. Who looked <laughs> unbelievably youthful, right? Mm -hmm. He is 60 in December. Yep. Right? Great. And yet he doesn't look it, right? So we don't know why, and maybe it's a wonder of... of something. <laughs> Maybe it's natural. Maybe it's not. Who knows in Hollywood? Um, but we thought we'd have a little game, which is uh, pit the younger or older. Right? We've had a few Definitely of those in the, the time. Younger. Well, look, no, I'm going to show you some, some pictures of people. OK. And you've got to tell me whether they're younger or older than Brad Pitt. Wow. Go on. Uh, OK. They're about... I'm going to say younger, but definitely looks older. I think they're about the same age. Boris Johnson is only younger by six months than Brad Pitt. Mm. OK. Next. 
Nigel Farage. Oh, he's definitely yeah. older. Older, yeah. He's, only, he's younger than Pitt by it's, three months. It's, it's, it's in the neck, really? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's younger than Brad the Pitt. Hair. Look at that. He looks about yeah. 20 years eyes. old, doesn't he? Mm. OK, next one. Governor Ron DeSantis. Mm. I think he's younger. I think, I think younger. He's younger by 16 years mm. than Brad Pitt. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Uh, next one. Well, I know Tom he's, Cruise. I know he's older. Same age? No. He's, he's a year and a half older, Cruise, yeah. than Brad okay. Pitt. And now probably the most difficult one of all. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Um, oh, wow. I mean, this is true. Same age? Me. No, oh, no, you must be younger. No. You have to be younger. Easy. But I was going to say, he must be older than you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Paula. Yeah. You... And thank you not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I am younger by a year and three months, apparently, than Brad Pitt. i got to say, he looks good on it, Brad Pitt. I've only met Brad Pitt uh, once, and it was at the Oscars. I was in the red carpet for CNN, mm. and I shouted out Brad. He arrived late with Angelina when they were still mm. talking to each other. And I've just got a brilliant picture that somebody took, and it's Brad just going, hey, man! <laughs> like that, that's Aww. it. That's my Brad Pitt moment. Um, literally just said, hey, man. Uh, but I remembered it, and it was a moving moment. Um, let's talk about... Well, not another man. Let's talk about a, a pyramid of white supremacy. <laughs> the Church of England has defended teaching controversial race theory, saying kids shouldn't wait till 18 to learn about racial justice. So teaching guidance issued by the Diocese of St Edmundsbury and Ipswich oh. is the white supremacy pyramid. At the bottom, racial indifference and jokes, and at the top is mass murder. The suggestion being that if you don't get a grip at your school mm. early, Esther, you you're become prejudiced. rapidly a white supremacist mass murderer. Why is this being taught in our schools? It, honestly, it's very baffling, and it's as if the, the church doesn't have... There, there aren't enough social ills to go around. There are not enough issues in society for the church to address. I grew up as an Anglican, and, you know, looking at many Anglican churches in sub-Saharan Africa and Asia in particular, looking at the Church of England and what they're doing to the religion is quite mm. worrying. I mean, this is really a non-issue, and it has nothing to do with the Church of England. I don't understand why they need to choose politically charged topics to, to try and, I don't know, further the cause of God but this, knows what. But this presumption, Paula, that it's a bit like when they did the, um, the, the, the Gillette reboot when they ditched mm. their you know man supporting yeah, yeah. campaign mm. and basically made it out if you don't do something you're all going to be harvey weinstein it's that it's like why go to these extremities of mass murderers if you don't deal with your critical race theory at school it's, it's nonsense so i don't i don't think it is that so firstly it's not nonsense you've got 30 seconds and, and, to try uh, well and exactly it. and it's not controversial it's called critical race theory remember this is something that was born out of academics they were lawyers mm. they were discussing about justice and injustice within institutions not about place? not about individuals and it's the church attempting to teach about injustice that's really important yeah, but I it's don't not though. It's telling, why we're it's telling about kids they're going to be mass murderers I, if they I carry on the, I don't the agree with you on. and I don't agree with that what they're being taught right. peers got to leave it there uh, we'll come back to that issue though mm. uh, good to see you.